everyone welcome back to our channel trailhead ranger nj and uh, we are doing the series of becoming an agent blazer champion so uh, join me in this journey and we have already completed these modules you can find these on my channel as well as uh, the links of this might be in the description box and other or you can just search for it on my channel uh, now in this video we'll be targeting to complete this module that is autonomous agent it is also a very short module and we'll be talking about autonomous agents what it is and what it does so let's get started with our first unit so as its name suggests autonomous agent that is a agent which can automate an activity and can do it by itself so here they have taken an example of a, a resort that they want a seamless experience for a family or maybe a family want a seamless experience with a resort so the agent will be helping them with the activities to do the timings of them and do the bookings and all other works so how do the autonomous agents work it uh, understand uh, the request and respond to it and then act without the human intervention <coughs> sorry act without the human intervention so we can give it a goal and it can generate its task task for itself that suppose we can give them a, a task that we need a booking for this event at this time so it can check under a, a, as a, per the details given by us and it can generate task for itself that uh, the agent needs to do the booking and then complete the task and move on to the next goal which we will be providing it so that's how it works and uh, it is it can uh, be a perfect for complex tasks in customer service market commerce sales and even other areas so now we'll talk about the data so data is a very important factor and the foundation of an autonomous agent's functionality so this is what an agent so this is what enables an agent to make informed decision and execute the task autonomously uh, so suppose we are giving a task to the agent but it does not have any data so earlier we have taken an example of the booking so now the data agent does not have related to the booking that what all events are there what all timings are available for that event or uh, if uh, that slot is available or not so if these kind of data is not available with the agent then it cannot or it will not be able to complete the task efficiently so that's why data is very very important for the autonomous agents and it helps it making in the decision making process as well so when an autonomous agent analyzes the data it uses its advanced decision making algorithm to prioritize and execute the tasks efficiently which will be given by us that is the customer now we'll talk about the action execution so after it will make the uh, sorry decision uh, it will execute that action that is making the booking in our example and learning and adaption so the agent continuously learn from each interaction and adapts to improve future performance so that's a more uh, that's a important functionality or the feature of our an autonomous agent that it continuously learn and adapt to the changes now autonomous agents in action so there is a wide range of fields in which autonomous agent supports its functionality such as healthcare industry financial services insurance retail and others so you can uh, read out these example but you can uh, understand that how it can help like in healthcare it can provide us the detail with the customers already uh, earlier bookings or the whatever they have uh, made appointment for and help the customer out to make a new appointment in insurance they can let them know if they have already already taken an insurance so the detail of those or help out with them uh, help out them with a the new insurance available as per their requirement or the details they will be provided similarly for the financial services and retail as well so now let's move on to the quiz our first question is what is the primary function of an autonomous agent first option is it replaces human employees entirely no second is it saves time and resources and enhances the customer experience 
third is it handles all customer service inquiries and fourth is it performs only tasks that are too complex for human employees so second option should be the uh, correct one now the second question is which of these features distinguish autonomous agents from chatbots so first option is autonomous agents follow predefined rules second is autonomous agents take longer to build than chatbots third is autonomous agents need human to complete task fourth is autonomous agents can execute task independently so fourth option should be the correct one it has the ability to execute task and complete those in efficient manner independently so let's check and this is complete let's move on to the next unit of this module that is establish trust with autonomous agents so as we know from salesforce and uh, salesforce always prioritize the trust as its primary and the utmost factor that trust is always there between the customer and the services we are providing so with the autonomous agent or the agent force also we are prioritizing the trust that is trust is always maintained then uh, we'll talk about the guardrails for safe and trusted autonomous agent so to make that trust between uh, the autonomous agent and the customer there are some safety rules which we will be keeping in mind such as define clear boundaries we'll be setting the clear boundaries for what our autonomous agents can and can't do then we'll be implementing robust security measures so that autonomous agent can handle a lot of customer data but security is not be unhandled properly then third is monitor and audit so we'll be regularly monitoring the performance of our autonomous agents and audit the agent's action in case it requires some adjustment or not then integrate human oversight while autonomous agents handle many tasks independently it's also important to have human oversight for more complex or sensitive interactions so that trust can be maintained and uh, agent is not taking uh, a action which is not correct otherwise will be always ensuring transparency so that the customer knows how our organization using the autonomous agents and will be informing them time to time that when they whenever they are interacting with the autonomous agents and provide options to speak with the human representative if needed test thoroughly before deploying autonomous agents will need to test them thoroughly to identify and address any potential issues will be encountering and continuous learning and improvement so autonomous agents should always and uh, it is always continuously learning and improve with time so we'll be coming to the quiz now our first question is which of the following is an important guardrail to consider when building and integrating autonomous agents so first option is after successfully testing your agent keep it from evolving any further second option is provide human oversight for more complex or sensitive interactions third option is limit your agent's ability to communicate directly with customers fourth option is never allow your agent to handle financial transactions so second option should be the correct one now we'll come to the second question that is when you deploy an autonomous agent to interact with customers it's important to be transparent about what first is the agent's limitations second is the agent's name third is the large language model the agent uses and the fourth is the agent's testing mechanism so i guess the third option should be the correct one let's check okay so is it its testing mechanism because we need to be transparent about how it is working and what they are interacting with okay uh let's see i guess uh mm -hmm. okay so the agent's limitation we need to be transparent about about our customers that our agent is uh, limited to do this kind of activity so you need to be aware of that so okay now let's move on to the last unit of this module that is transform your business with autonomous agents so there are multiple use cases which our autonomous agents can help with that is uh, such as customer support order management lead generation personalized recommendation 
scheduling and reservations feedback collection and internal process so there are many use cases it can help us with and save us the time so uh, now we'll uh, meet our agent force that is uh, that at sale force we have uh, got the thing for us which is our advanced conversational ai that is the agent force which is boosting our productivity and lightening our team's workload and it is also trusted and secure powerful versatile grounded in unified data so uh, to work with the or to have integrated the so salesforce autonomous agents we need to think big start smart plan our strategy build our agent then test it and then launch it so let's come to the quiz our first question is what is the key benefit of using autonomous agents in customer support first question is they can send customers all of the company's faqs second is human representatives can focus on more complex issues third is they can handle all customers issues without any human intervention and fourth is they can create new products and services for customers so i guess third option should be the correct one now we'll come to the second question that is what ensures that agent force protects your company's data and detects toxicity uh first is data cloud second option is einstein trust layer third option is external apis and fourth option is external human audits so einstein trust layer uh, i guess protects the company's data and detects toxicity let's check okay so this one is uh, incorrect using autonomous in customer support uh first option could also be the correct one and second as well because if uh, autonomous agent will be helping us out with the basic uh, things then the human representatives can focus on more complex issues uh so i'll go with the second one as of now so okay okay so it's correct and please pardon my mistakes i'm also learning along with you only and uh, uh, so if you like it please like the video and subscribe the channel and you can let me know in the comment section if you need my help with anything else or you want me to make video on any other topic related to the sales force so thank you stay tuned